question, will any of the supplements affect or be affected by 80 milligrams of aspirin and 100 milligrams of CoQ10? No. No, the simple answer is no. So in those of you that are just curious, CoQ10 is a, um, that, that's actually a great, that's a great supplement. It's an expensive, it's an expensive supplement. Um, I wish it didn't cost, cost so much, but it is, um, it is a great booster um, for overall health. Um, and a lot of people, you know, were told, uh, you know, the Bear Aspirin Company started a campaign in the 1950s. In the 1950s, Bear Aspirin started a campaign telling people that an aspirin a day was healthy for you. <laughs> so it was brilliant because they sold a lot of Bear Aspirin because Bear Aspirin was the only aspirin company, you know, in the 50s. Um, and they have perpetuated that thing for 70 years. They have perpetuated that, um, mm -hmm. that aspirin uh, is healthy for you. And basically what it, what it is, it does the same thing as vitamin E. It's a, it's a blood thinner. So vitamin E is a natural blood thinner. Aspirin is an unnatural, but it will thin your, it will thin your blood. <clears throat> now, what thins blood better than anything? Hydration, because your blood is 80% water. So the more hydration you get in your cells, you're going to thin your blood the natural, healthy way. Your blood will have a healthy viscosity when you have your intercellular hydration, and you will not need uh, that aspirin any longer. Great question.